Chris, and welcome to Insomnia. Well, precious, welcome to Insomnia. Hello, this is Soap, and welcome to Insomnia. I do voices. I'm the voice actor of the class. I've been trying to do Geralt of Rivia. Lilac and Goose Parents. That's not bad. Again, I... Paul wanted me to uh, do the voice on the... I don't know how confident I am with doing it. Better than, you know, I can't do it as well as actual Geralt. Yeah, it's, it's one of those funny things about voices. Every voice is unique. So nobody will ever sound like my Geralt. It'll always sound a little bit different, but they can get really close. It's like that for everybody. Impressionists don't actually sound exactly like the person they're trying to do an impression of, but they can get really, really close. You know, you're young yet. I'm, you know, I'm 52 years old, so dropping into Geralt's voice, which also, by the way, when I started with Geralt's voice, I could barely do it. It was so low in my register that it hurt to do it. So it's, it was a bit like how athletes train their muscles to do certain things and they get stronger, you know, they break them down and the muscles get stronger and yeah. grow and all that stuff. Vocal cords are a bit like that. I mean, the cords themselves aren't muscle, but the muscle around them adapts and changes like an athlete's muscles. So now I can just drop into the Geralt voice very easily. Get yourself some acting classes because if you find yourself in a in a voice uh, recording studio with a director who will probably have come from a stage film or television background, you'll want to know how to work with them. And the only way really to learn how to do that is to take some acting classes, learn the vocabulary, learn how the process of acting typically works, not always, because every actor has their own, their own ways of going about things. But you learn things, just like you're doing on your course now. You pick up tools that you put into your toolbox, and then you pull out the tool that you need for this particular job, right? So if you can get some acting classes, do that. That's really, really helpful. And then um, somewhere along the way, you need to make demo reels. Insomnia 70. I'm Lewis Day. I'm studying at ACM to do programming and game development. I entered a Splatoon tournament with some friends. We lost in the semi-finals, but we got really far. Much further than I thought we would, honestly. It's been fun. I've seen a lot of cosplayers that look really cool. Obviously, the Splatoon tournament I entered was really fun. And I just overall had a good time. It gives us a chance to get into the community and understand it a lot more, which I think is very important as a game developer. <laughs>